This is my hotel in Atlanta for the next few nights. That looks so good. Hey guys, and welcome back. Day one in Atlanta has begun. The first trip in Philadelphia is now over, and Newcastle and I have drawn 3 3 against Aston Villa in a game where both teams have got lots of positives to take out of the match. I really think with the high climate, I mean, that was extreme last night. It was hot, it was stuffy. Newcastle gave it a good go. Eddie Howe went free at the back, but completely changed the team up. And we still got a good result against Villa, and we could have won at the end. So, Newcastle actually had a good game. I'm very impressed so far. Tomorrow, we actually have an open training session for the first time ever. Fans will be allowed to go and watch Eddie Howe's training session. I'm there, I'm allowed to do a video. I can go meet the players afterwards. What an amazing opportunity that's going to be. So, you guys do not want to miss that vlog. Make sure I get down there, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the interaction with the players tomorrow. Eddie Howe's open training session vlog. I can't believe I'm doing that. What a moment to be alive. But yeah. In order to get here though, we had to get through Philadelphia first. How is my travel over? What did I do? There's lots of uh, problems and situations I got myself into. Without further ado, it's fair to say this hotel might be better than the last one. But let's get underway. Hey guys, and good morning. The time is currently 9 o'clock in the morning over in the US of A. Chapter 1 of Newcastle's Premier League series is now over in Philadelphia. We are at the airport now. We are about to head across to Atlanta. It's just over two hours in the play, which isn't actually too bad now. I know a few Newcastle fans in America are actually doing the road trip down to Atlanta. It's about 12 hours in the car to get there. 12 hours there, 12 hours back. That is brutal, so fair play to the fans who are doing that. as real dedication there. But as for me though, listen, two hour flight, I'm not gonna say no to them. I'm gonna head across now. As for the transport, do you? I mean, I checked out my hotel before, not gonna lie, the experience in that hotel was pretty bad. It was so cold, constantly air conditioned. You couldn't turn it off, so it was just pumping constantly. And I had like no blankets in my bed. It was just a nightmare. So I just felt ill half the time. So yeah, the transport across was a nightmare as well. The subway actually broke down. So I was getting a bit worried because only one an hour as well this early on. We thankfully got here on time. We're gonna head across to the check-in now. I mean, Philadelphia's been a blast, it really has, it's been fantastic. My first ever American city travelled, it's never going to change. Philadelphia has been amazing. We have made it through the US Customs, and for the first time as well, during my trip over to America, I did not get searched today, which means my arse has not been touched by anyone else. Thank God for that. But as for the customs itself, it takes about 10 minutes to get through. Honestly, it was sound, not much to say, but I think it is a lot stricter over in America though, in terms of how you get searched. For example, you've got to take your shoes off before going through the detectors. It doesn't sound like much, but I thought educating that anyway. Now that I'm inside the airport though, I mean, this place is huge. There's so many places to go to eat. There's all sorts here, right? There's all sorts to get into. So I had a chance to go to chick fil -A, I believe it's called. A half ten in the morning, I'm getting chicken burgers. I mean, that's the breakfast food over here. America does it spot on. I have now arrived at my destination over in Atlanta. I've just got off the train there. 
that is easily one of the most insane things I've ever seen. I mean, that guy is quite literally juggling his hat on his elbow and he's perfectly landing on his head as well. I mean, that is serious skill. I guess you would call it street talent, I suppose. They're going to the train and they practice their skills in front of everyone. And a sad part is when he's done all that work and his friends have done all that work and nobody clapped him at all. So they must be so used to seeing stuff like that by now. But that is actually serious skill. Like, that is so hard. The coordination area is on another level. Big update guys, I actually need to wait about an hour or so before I can check into our hotel room. So you know what, I thought, why not? Let's go out there, let's get something to eat. So I've ended up coming up to this salad bar where you can actually build your own wrap. Now this is a catch here. If any of you guys know me on a personal level, I am terrible at making my own food. I struggle in Subway. So coming to America, I'm coming to an actual wrap place. It's fair to say, the wrap you're seeing on the screen there, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> So I'm going to try it now in front of you guys for your pleasure. I just got all sorts and it's actually a cucumber wrap. It's chicken inside and it's sour I don't even know what's in it to be bloody honest. Um, but yeah, let's, um, let's try it out and let's see if I've actually picked a good wrap to eat. I don't believe it actually really nice i can't believe i've actually picked a good wrap to eat despite what first impressions may look i'm telling you now do not judge a book by this color because it actually tastes really nice we are now finally in atlanta it's boiling down here i need to actually go to the shop now and get some sun cream because of the fact that i've used all mine up in philadelphia so i've got to go back now we've got to get a marker pen as well for tomorrow so i can get some autographs on the cast now because i've got to go and get a few essentials in the meantime, while I'm walking up, I've got a chance to tell you about my flight today because well, for the first time ever, I actually decided to go first class. Why did I do that? Because it was like 20 quid more, there's not really much difference. So I thought I'd do that since I get better seats. And there's also, instead of three seats in the road, it's two seats, seats are way larger as well. It doesn't sound like much for two hours, but for me, I'm just not keen on flights. I'm still not keen on them, so I thought, you know what? We're not going to faff around, but we're just going to get into it. I want to kind of talk about this well because afterwards I did actually have a bit of a close encounter, you could argue. I think people especially are kind of warned me about going to like so Atlanta at night time and just people in general now. I had a little instant when I came off the uh, airport because well, I came out to the train station I had to go buy a ticket from the machine. So someone had saw me my wallet out. Obviously you see now I've got notes in my wallet. So he's kind of came over straight away. He's like, oh, trying to help us with the ticket at first. And all of a sudden, yo man, can I have $10 for a for some food, like all of a sudden starts asking for money. Obviously, I'm not coming. I'm going. No, I'm not going to do that. You know, oh, can I have three fifty, man? I'm going to buy a train ticket. No, it's just not happening. This guy is is really pestering me here. Yeah? It's just uncomfortable. I've it's happened a few times now where people are, are starting to come over and try to ask for money. Now, obviously, you get this in a lot of places. I don't mind it. Obviously, I'm going to say no. But people are quite opportunistic, I would say. Like, that guy, he's, he's waiting till I got my wallet out. You see there's notes and say he's kind of came all straight away. He's trying to put some pressure on me, trying to guilt trip me almost. I just don't do it. I uh, just don't do it at all. Um, I do warn you a bit. But honestly, uh, everything was fine. I just thought I'd give you a little heads up just in case. Just on my way up to the hotel room now. <laughs> what the what the hell is this? It's now time to check out the hotel room. Will it be an upgrade on the one from Philadelphia? Enough messing around. Let's find out. We'll begin off down here. This is our coffee making machine. We have the essentials just there. Now for me personally, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink tea, I don't care to be brutally honest, but it is there for those of you who do enjoy it. Down there we have the fridge and the safe. Hello there. As we head further down, this is where things start to get more interesting. Look at the size of this room. It is wide, it is expansive, it is ambitious. All those things are what the cast layer also is. But as for that bed over there, we're going to do the bed test check shortly. We're going to do a brand new variant of the bed test check as well, which I'll, you've probably seen the thumbnail, I'll be honest, but we'll, we'll do that anyway. Now, what's this down here? It's the ice bucket, Adam. The amount of comments I got from you guys last time about not knowing what an ice bucket was, was it's quite demoralising. So don't worry, I know now it's an ice bucket. 
As for the TV there, I mean, that thing is huge. I mean, it's bigger than me. That thing is so big. I can't wait to watch. I mean, I would watch the chase on it, but unfortunately, we're in the US of A, so I probably can't watch it. But still, that TV is amazing. We've got a lovely chair down here. A table there where I can just sit back and just complex to myself about all my life choices alone. But the couch here is quite nice, actually. Um, probably better than the bed I slept in in Philadelphia. So I definitely would pick this couch with a bed in Philadelphia, to be brutally honest. Over here, we've got that for whatever reason. I don't know why. We've already got the couch and the bed. I don't know why we need that as well. But we'll check out the bathroom as well. We'll see how that is. But first impression to this room... Now, this is actually the kind of room as well that the cast night player would actually stay in, so first impressions are amazing. As for the bathroom, hello there. The lighting is good in here, man. This is a, a YouTube, a dream lighting. Everything's perfect. Got the sink down there, the mirror. Shower up there is nice. The bath is quite low down, but it's quite easy to step into it. So, honestly... For the price I've paid, this is easily the best hotel I've ever stayed in. I mean, the price is actually not that bad either. You're probably thinking this sort of room that I'll honestly pay like over a grand stay there. I definitely haven't done that at all. It's honestly, for what you get here, yeah, it's actually a real cheap price. And like uh, hotels are just way too well in Philadelphia anyway. I assume Philadelphia is a much more exciting city to stay in, I suppose. I don't know why that is, but the hotels are way cheaper here. And as a result, I can just get a better hotel for the same price than the crappy one over in Philadelphia. This one is better than Philadelphia. Yeah, you're not kidding, Sherlock. He's from Blythe. You'll never ever be time burn. He's from Blythe. You'll never ever be time burn. Apologies for that, guys. I'm getting a bit excited with the UV light, but this is a warning message to all the hotels out there. No longer will I be underprepared. No longer will I come into your hotel rooms, sleep on those beds without knowing what's on them. I will be checking them this season, especially UK. I know for a fact I go to somewhere like a travel lodge, wherever it is, Birmingham, Liverpool, London, whatever. I'm gonna go there. I know for a fact we're gonna find some bad things in them beds, but now with this UV light, I will expose you, I will name and shame you in my video. So big warning now. But if you wondered how I got the UV light, by the way, pretty much uh, it's because of you guys. So yesterday at a tailgate, a Newcastle United fan came up with, he actually used to be an ex-cop in American terminology. He passed one of these UV light, he likes the hotel vlogs and now he wants me to, I guess, use it in the videos. So yeah, I will do. This is actually quite handy. But we shouldn't need it in this case though, because this is a good hotel. It should just be in the case where it's the bad ones. But we'll practice it now. We'll see if anything's on there. Trust me, if anything's in that bed, we will hunt it down and we will sniff it out. I'm not letting this slip by once more. We will name, we will shame. Shh, shh. Let's go, let's go. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. What's this? I think there's a bit of tear in the bed. That's not good. Let's go a bit further down. Okay, okay. Oh, what's this? We've spotted something. I've, I've seen someone there. Okay, let's go a little closer look. I mean, I don't know how well it looks to come up for me. I think that might be dry blood. It looks a little reddish. I, I got a feeling some UV experts that know that, but yeah, uh, we've actually spotted some. That's not a good start at all. Oh, God. Right. We're going to have to check the other side now. I can't believe we've actually found some in the good hotel room. That's what you do. Oh. Okay, okay. We still got a chance. If we don't find anything here, we'll be fine this side of the bed. But check those pillows, make sure there's no slaver on them. No jewel. The pillows seem to be fine with a quick glance. This side seems to be okay, but I can't believe we've spotted something down there. Already, even in the good hotels, we're finding little sneaky surprises. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's overnight stay vlog. Before we finish off, I was wanting to touch on just a couple of things because, well, I need to address this. The generosity from you guys ever since I've got out to America has been unbelievable. Well, even before America, to be honest, but I think ever since I came across the United States of America, it's been highlighted so much. The amount of people over the last couple of days that have been offering me money and all sorts is incredible. Thank you so much, but I kind of wanted to 
come across and tell you now that you guys don't owe me anything. I had a person a couple of days ago and literally just gave me $20 because he likes watching my YouTube videos. He want to buy me some drinks now. I do appreciate the generosity. I love the fact that people feel like they want to buy me a drink. I just love that. Obviously, I mean that much to you. But you guys don't owe me anything. I love making YouTube videos. I'm here because I want to be here. I'm not going to lie. Yes, it costs me thousands of pounds to be here. Four different states in 11 days it is extremely expensive. But I want to be here. I love it. I love supporting you cast tonight. There's so much going on with the football club. I'm getting enjoyment anyway. I don't care how much money I spend. There. It's, uh, listen, I, I, love, I like it a lot. You guys don't owe me any money. I've seen so many people start to donate money across. I haven't asked for any money. Listen, guys, I, I'm fine financially. If I wasn't fine financially, I wouldn't be here. I'm not going to be here. See, I, I don't need your money, to be honest. Uh, so please don't fear you got an obligation to give me money. Please don't fear you got an obligation to get me anything. I appreciate your support means that's it worth me. The only support I want for you is to watch my video and to support me that way. I don't need your money directly. Just keep that in mind because some of you guys are, are starting to send money over and I feel a bit guilty because, well, you don't have to do that. Your, your support now is just all I need. It, it means that's it worth me. So thank you so much. So I thought we'd touch on that briefly because a lot of you guys seem to, I guess, believe you owe me something. You don't, okay? Uh, don't worry about it. It's going great at the minute. Again, if I was struggling financially, I just wouldn't be here. Uh, I'm happy at the minute, things are going well, just relax, all right? You don't have to donate any money. But I just want to touch that because the generosity has been incredible. There's so many Newcastle fans out there that feel like they they want to support me as much as possible, which I do love. But listen, guys, you can look after yourselves, you know, it's fine. But yeah, I just want to kind of touch on that. And well, when I wake up, there'll be two vlogs on this channel today. So this is going to come out at 7 a.m. back in the UK. At the time you're watching this video, chances are I will be at Newcastle Edge training ground meeting the players, seeing Eddie Howe's training session and there'll be a vlog of it on the channel. It's going to be incredible. I personally think it'll be the best fan interactions you'll ever see in a YouTube video because you can't say this is the first time ever, ever under Eddie Howe you can actually go to a training session and watch his training session. It's, it's going to be incredible. I'm telling you now, you do not want to miss that one. So stick around for it. I can't wait for it. I'm actually buzzing. Who could get straight into it. I wish you all the best though, guys. And I'll see you then.